Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And yes, I'm still out at the SOS right now, and it was suggested that I stick around for the daytime and have a look at it in, in the sun, without the dark and the rain and everything else. Got a bit, a little bit, a little bit of the rain, but at least it's visible. Well, let's have a look, little look around, see what there is. Uh, sadly, I do not have a lot of fuel left, so I do have to start heading back pretty soon but i thought we'd just take a little gander have a nice little shot of it during the day take a screenshot or two smile beautiful anyway hey, uh yeah we're just out here at the sos uh i am aware there is a lot more to the story uh i also am aware there's a lot of things i need to find and uh, sadly my uh my map is riddled full of these wrecks and you know there's a lot of logs I have to find to find more of the story, but those will take care of in due time. After all, the series is going to be more than five or six episodes. But anyways, uh, yeah, it's kind of a nice little setup here. It's uh, I don't know if this is what the main monument was always like. You know, I've never actually hunted down the monuments before. But I definitely do like what they've done. It's definitely uh, something out of the ordinary. But anyways, I do have a very, very, very long flight ahead of me. Good thing there is autopilot. So uh, I will see you there or when I come across something of interest or we have another incident. Anyway, I shall return. Oh, look at that. Perfect timing. Just getting home. The sun's coming up. And that was a very, very, very long journey. Believe it or not, it took me about 45 minutes real time to fly all the way back here. Uh, I tried to uh, I tried to put some more air blades on here, but I was short on the CL electronics and had absolutely no way to make them. But here we are, I'm back at the base, finally. Oh my god, that was a long journey. A very long journey. I left the AC on too. I mean, it turned off after I passed the equator, but... I was sort of AFK hanging out in Discord while I was doing the flight and just kind of missed it. And I was kind of worried that I had left the power on when I left, but then I remembered, oh yeah, we're deuterium powered now. It's all self-sustaining. There's the, the greenhouses. It's been so long since I've been at home, I can't remember what the, can't remember what the place actually looked like. Uh, I actually don't have a place to land this, so we're just going to park out the front lawn. Which is surprisingly clean, considering my uh, track record. Oh, and touchdown. Alright, let's get out of here and stretch my legs. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, it's down here somewhere. Oh yeah. Put some extra batteries on here for uh, extra power's sake, just in case. Because I wasn't sure how much deuterium I was going to have left. Now, let's see how much space is... Oh, what I, what's in there and how much space I have. Uh, I do have some titanium, so it's not too bad, and some other stuff, but uh, we're going to have to start getting stuff for, uh, produced pretty quick here. As, uh, it's time to start getting some stuff built. It's been so long since I've been in here. Oh my god, I can't remember what my place looked like. I'm going to get lost. Oh my god, it's bright in here. Anyway, uh, oh yeah, I had another printer on the go. Uh, let me get my bearings and try to figure out what I was actually doing here and all. <laughs> I'll bring you back in a minute. Actually, there's something I was doing. Let's make it the Mark II. Mark II multi-tool, or Mark IV multi-tool. I need two more of these, and then I can get one of these. So I got two of them already. Uh, those, do I even have those? Uh, Mark II composite. Let's have a look. Let's see what we can do with that. Uh, cobalt, silver, carbon. Wrong printer. Biomass. Should be simple. Let's have a look. Nope. 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 Uh, there's some in the flyer, actually. Do I have any on me? No, I left it in the flyer. Okay. We don't need many of them anyways. Just a few. But there's a whole bunch of other goodies in there, too. I like to get my hands on. If uh, my flyer will let me. Do I got the biomass there? Well, don't really need the iron, I guess. Uh, Xanite. I got Xanite. 
don't need a whole lot of it right now. Um, but I want to try to get uh, some mining going and some production. You know, start getting the basics going. At least we got stuff to work with. And, you know, and be able to do some fun stuff. Some good old times, right? Uh, okay, what was I building? I was building the Mark II composites, yes. So I need. I guess we're doing nine. I don't think I have any aluminum on me. Uh, no. Probably doing the flyer, but I don't care about the flyer. Let's actually go check on the greenhouses. I don't think I actually got the ones outside set up, did I? No, I didn't. Alright, we got six seeds there. That's good. Uh, oh, I don't think I actually have production going. That's what happens when you go on a long trip. You actually forgot what you were doing. What do we have in here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, I wasn't actually doing anything. Uh, this was producing water. What's going on out there? Okay, that is producing deuterium. Good. At least something was going right. So, yeah, I've been sort of thinking about what I want to do, and I'm almost thinking about moving these lockers over. I'm going to keep them here, but I'm going to have probably three or four printers spaced to two blocks apart so I can get some small containers hooked up with the conveyors and have the printers pull in from one side and output to the other, maybe if it works that way. But we'll see. You know, just to try to get some sort of production going. Okay, oh yeah, we're waiting on this. Grab those, go over here, put those in there, and... Oh. Wait a minute, I thought I had two of them in there already. Oh, silicone. Okay, here we go. I finish that up. I'll bring you back, actually. Hmm. It's a good question. How do I want to do this? That's a refinery. That's going to stay like that. You know what? Let me move a few things around and I shall return. Okay. I should be ready. So now we can go ahead and start making that. It's going to take five minutes on that. I need to make a couple of level two ALMs. Which means carbon and silicone, which I actually had. So make three of those craft those and we're going to go ahead and do those first did it eat my materials did it really eat my materials No. <sighs> oh, that was a big waste of titanium. Let's see if they're inside here. Just in case. No. Oh. That was a lot of titanium. You know that? Oh, well. What a shame. I'm actually kind of choked about that. That was 40 titanium. That was all my titanium. That was a loud and ominous boom. Hmm. That's a, that's a big shame. No, nothing in here, is there? Oh, God. I'm not too happy about that. That's fine, because I just remembered I got miners over there. We'll go check those in a second. So let me bring back the day. I want to go check out the miners and see what I can come up with. Okay, I am back, and my multi-tool is done. Yes, we have an upgrade. Finally, we have a proper tool, actually. That one stays there. So I'm going to get that in my inventory. I'm going to just put it in here for now. Not the Mark II, anyways. So now we have the Mark IV. Which means we're going to get a lot more life out of a battery. 
Uh, things are going to be almost instantaneous. Also, I've made a few changes. Uh, I've been thinking about where I want to go with this series, and uh, there's a couple of things that we need to do. Well, first of all, we do have the quest and the storyline, a whole bunch of logs I need to find, a bunch of different things we got to work on, like uh, the objectives here, and crew story. We have all these data pads we got to find. We got to find monuments, and we'll do a whole bunch of exploring. Another one too. Uh, not only do we have a big, huge planet to scan, since we have the scanner now, uh, but yeah, we have a lot of derelict uh, distress signals, a lot of wrecks. And I'm thinking we might take the show on the road. The series, I think, is going to end up going mobile. And what I plan on doing, and I'm going to start building a few things here while I'm working on this, is uh, we'll wait till we're finished. I'm going to build a large container. We're going to test uh, some conveyor mechanics out too. But basically what I want to do is I want to build more or less a f my workplace in the sky, I'll call it. Uh, it was, it's basically going to be what Skylab was, Skylab was supposed to be, not the, the physics nightmare that it was. I'm sorry. Anybody who lost their save files to that, I really am. It's not my fault, though play immunity. Anyway, uh, yeah, I want to sort of redo something like that, but uh, what we're going to do, though, is all these derel these wrecks that we have along here, we're going to recycle them. We're going to go around, we're going to start cleaning up our planet and start scanning the whole area, the terrain and stuff like that. And all the parts we get from these distress signals, these man-made wrecks, we're going to repurpose them into big builds. And on my way down here, there was a nice mesa area around here, I think, that that just was begging to be built on. And who knows what else we'll find on the planet. But I think that might be an interesting goal to do. You know, just, uh, you know, go around. Like, we got so many different things we can collect. There's, like, lots of materials. So not only are we cleaning up our planet, we're recycling product. And we're also getting resources to build big builds without having to... You know, go crazy mining all the time. But yeah, that's where I think we are going. But right now, we need to start getting ready to start building it. It's going to be a bit of a big build. It's probably going to take a couple of episodes to, to build. Uh, there are a few things I'm going to be short on. One of them just happens to be titanium. But I've been moving the, the miners around there. and They're in a spot now where they're about 15 per hour. So it's eh, give give or take... Uh, losing a couple of ALMs to a Mark IV multi-tool I never got. That kind of sucks. But anyways, uh, so yeah, what I want to do, and I'm think, trying to think about uh, like how I want to have my um, cargo storage set up. Now I got the printers here, so what I could do, and I'm thinking I might actually do it on this side. So I'm going to take out this window break in the new multi-tool. Yes. Oh, wrong button. And so now I want to put a conveyor, a uh, wall with a conveyor here. Or a uh, junction. I know I've got them. I have everything unlocked. With conveyor joint. Okay, it doesn't actually show it there, but that's fine. Okay, wall is white. We'll do that because it's there. We're going to go ahead and grab the, the short section, just to fill that in. There it is. Oh, and that's me falling off the porch again. Nothing new for me. Alright, fill that in, and that is super fast. I love it. Oh, that's, that's not the light. Different games have different lights. And now I'm sort of thinking about just having like a pad out here for the, for the container to sit. Uh, it is going to be moved with the mover tool and it is going to be snapped onto a conveyor. So we don't need a whole lot of room. Probably one more. We'll fill that in. Oh, I love the Mark IV. You never realize how good that tool is until you've been using the emergency tool. Except for the fact that the emergency tool doesn't use any batteries. Oh, right now my conveyor bar, which was number three. Yes, I did, am using my hot bars, and we'll do it orange just because. So we're gonna go to number two, 
Now, rotate like so. Now, this is going to test a couple of theories on the whole conveyor mechanics situation. Uh, I believe that the output of a printer or any other type of machine will actually go to the closest container in the line. Uh, a viewer had suggested that maybe it, it goes to the closest or the the lowest number, so whichever was built first. So we are actually going to be testing both theories at once. Uh, what I'm going to do, actually, is so we're going to go hook up the inside first. So what's going to happen is I'm going to be making these connections with the printers first before I even build the contain container and the rest of the conveyor line. And what should happen is when the printers output, they will not go this way. They will go up, come out the side into the containers directly connected to the machine. So if this fills up, it should automatically go out here, up there, and not into the big container that's going to be outside. Uh, <clears throat> that's why uh, if you saw Skylab or you did, if you saw Skylab or you downloaded it off the workshop, that's why I had that big zigzagging conveyor line in behind it, and that was because, well not Skylab, uh, BCP, la the lab mobile edition where I strapped like 72 large air blades to the thing. Uh, yeah, so, anyways, uh, so I ended up having like 400 conveyors or something in a line just to avoid anything going back into the system. So it was going into the storage that I had set up and not into the ore containers. Because I was finding like dirty water in there and all sorts of stuff. I'll just do it this way because I wanted to stay, stay nice and neat. So, anyways, uh, I'm going to fill in the containers for these conveyors. And I'll bring you back when I am done. Okay, so I got the printers all set up. The, uh, the containers are connected to the printers. So I should be able to see all the other printers and all the containers and so on and so forth. Kaboom, yes. So, in theory, Everything that comes out of these printers should go into these boxes first when this is full instead of going back into other printers or to the big container outside that we're going to put here after I sleep away the line. Uh, needless to say, I have been running short on supplies already. Uh, I'm going to need more frames. i got frames. I'll have to grab another 20 of those. I was making some more plates. Could probably use some more plates. Need more iron. Uh, don't worry, I got plenty of iron up over at the the other area there, where I got the miners. So that was good, and uh, gonna need more mechanical parts too. Uh, I had you making mechanical parts, but we'll get you ma you making them. So I'll give you a stack of iron and a stack of carbon, and I dialed colored it the wrong color. Oops. Cancel that. Don't need that. Do that. That and. Did not grab iron. I must have. Just not paying attention. Alright. Okay, and uh, one thing I noticed is the, the big container got very expensive. And I will show you that in just a second. As soon as I hit the right button. Yeah. 20 Mark II mechanical parts. Or uh, composites. And 10 mechanical parts in the four large frames. Yeah, it's gotten expensive. It is still about the same as heavy as it was. But that is that. So anyways, that is doing that. It is rain. Let's go take a quick nap and do some uh, speed printing here. And we should be done. Oh, that's the wrong way. Getting lost in my own base again. Okay. Now, it's not going to go into these containers yet. It's only when the inventory in here is full. So take those. Take those. And I don't know why, but shift click does not work for me. You'd think it would. It works on any other game, but shift clicking just does not pull it out for me. Anyway, let's go ahead and hit the right button for the crafting menu and we'll put the box here. Let's make it yellow, just so I can see it so I don't fly into it. It is me, after all. Like I said, 
I had more room than I thought. I forgot I extended the pad. Okay. Now I'm just placing this down as an idea of where to put the conveyors. Yeah, let's go ahead and fill this in. And we are going to be using the mover tool to be moving it around. We're not going to be dealing with uh, conveyor connectors or anything of the like. So let's go ahead and put these down and an elbow to finish it off. Like so. Good old orange and fortunately there's not going to be a lag spike. I remember doing that sometimes and I have to wait five minutes. Okay, so that is in the system. Good. Now, I'll go back to Hotbar 5, grab the old mover tool, and let us go. And we're going to go head up to the old mine site. And I learned something too. You can change the batteries in this thing while you're actually moving it. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. So, yeah, we're going to go up here. I'm going to, I got all these small containers completely full of stuff. So, I'm going to put them in here and we can start getting some production going. Uh, I have been sort of thinking of some ideas of what, I, how I'm going to, oh, hang on, of how I'm going to be uh, building this thing. Well, it's too far. And I got some interesting ideas. You know, it's going to be, it's going to have some functionality to it other than just being a place to actually build. It's going to, it's going to have some features that is for sure. So yes, let's actually hit the right button here. That makes it a lot easier. Uh, it's going to be, I'm going to try to keep it as self-sustaining as possible uh, using like water and, or like running off of deuterium and solar. Uh, solar is going to be, I'm going to try to make it a big one just because, you know, I don't need to be worried about too much about power and biomass. Biomass is going to be for like the composites and the fabrics and that's the wrong way. I'm going to start, you know, have to start changing my name to wrong way BC instead of wrong button BC. All right, well, I'm going to start clearing all, the, all these containers and I'll bring you, bring you back when time to hook it back up to the system. Okay, I'm back. That's raining. And who would have thought doing something so simple would be so difficult? Uh, finally get the container filled and I'm on my way back and I didn't realize the battery was about ready to die and the battery died and the container disappeared and I'm not thinking, oh no, don't tell me I lost it all. But it was still back all the way up over there and I go and pick it up again. I get halfway down here and I hit the right mouse button by right mistake. So I had to go back and get it again. But we have a fair bit of goodies here. We have almost a full container full of stuff. Uh, I don't know how much titanium there actually is in here. I see five pieces, but you know the miners are still there. I I should be able to move them a couple of times, but we got a fair bit of iron and carbon and all that stuff, so we can at least get some production going. And that is the plan. Our first plan, though, is uh, take a nap and don't crouch on the ground. I'm meant to run. Actually, what's in here? We can actually put all this stuff in there as well. Okay, we'll run out here and do the same thing. Dump all this in here, like so. I have a full inventory, and I, st I have a, like a my maximum size inventory, and I still have inventory management. Okay, and there we go. That's all of it. Yeah, let me through. There's a few things in the one of the lockers there, but I can grab that. A little bit later. I'm feeling that container leg already. Oh, things are going to get interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Now, uh, yeah. Let's take it out. Let's deal with this. It's too dark. It's too rainy. It's too noisy. It's quite the rumble, i got to admit that. Like, very, very rumbly. Sleep in, just, you know, for the sake of it, dream of hover pads and the things we can do with them. He, yes, that's going to be a thing of my channel, or the thing of every series I do of Planet Nomads. Every time I start up, first hover pad I build is going to be 
a shrine. In fact, you know what? Let's make it that golden hover pad. There we go. That's better. Okay, so we are pretty much ready here. So, first one is going to be plates. Uh, look at that, we can actually craft maximum. But I think we'll start with... I'll go with 500, sure. And 500 plates. Okay, and of course, 500 mechanical parts. Maybe not 500. 300. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Hmm. Circuits or glass? What would be more important? Probably circuits. Okay. Circuits printing. So now we are producing. That's good. Uh, thing is, stuff is just going to end up in here at first until this fills up and then hopefully should file into there instead of the big red container, big yellow container outside. But that's where we're at. Uh, give me one second here. Yeah, as I was saying, that's where we're at. So more or less, we're gonna, just going to start working on uh, getting stuff built and getting ready to, 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 you know, like I said, take the show on the road. Uh, I think it's a great idea to do, to do. Not only does it give me a chance to actually, a reason to go out and explore. Like I said, have such a big map, it was... It was literally like a 50 kilometer flight from here. In fact, we can find out exactly how far it is. Now, where is that beacon? There we go. 45 kilometer flight all the way to the SOS. Uh, mind you, I could have had more air blades on uh, my flyer over there, but I didn't have the parts to do it. So that was a, an issue, but you know what I mean? Like the, the terrain generation scheme can be quite beautiful sometimes and you see stuff like that and it's, it just screams for builds, right? And so that's what we're going to do. Uh, one other thing I was going to do too, and I was actually thinking about this as sort of like a monument for when we return home. Not necessarily a monument, but something to look forward to. Actually, we should do this too. Let's do that just because we're going to put it out in the up on the roof so we can at least scan our area but where are you where are you i should have them there they are and we can afford it uh actually that's not what i wanted to do we're gonna actually that's actually what i decided to do with these corners is i'm gonna put beacons in here but i don't have enough for it right now what did i need i needed Four level two ALMs. I can't even afford it. Mm -hmm. So short of titanium. All right, well, we'll make sure to do that before we go. Put four beacons in the corners here. Uh, I haven't decided what the color is going to be yet. Maybe we'll make it unanimous. Well, that's what we'll do. Let's start just taking some votes in the comments at, in this video and the next couple of episodes before we actually go. And decide let's make a choice on what color we're gonna have these beacons and you know what it would actually go right through those lights too perfectly uh, there we go we have production we got plates we got freight we got frames plates mechanical parts circuits and we have a whole container full of materials over there we got more p materials being produced over there and we got big plants there was one more thing we were going to do before we end this episode. I totally forgot about it. And we're going to do that right now. We're going to put a scanner up here. And we're going to actually scan our neighborhood. And just have a look at the terrain. And I think they uh, supposedly had changed it. And never haven't actually used a scanner since. And so, sitting kind of funny. That's fine. Let's uh, make it red. I don't think we can. All right, now we gotta grab some power, and I'll just go down here, and grab that extension cord. Thank you. Bring it up here, and off we go. Uh, our first scan. Wait for that leg spike. And 
map has been updated. How if I hit the right button? All right, there we go. Our first scan. And now we have a lot of work to do. But anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>